Hello everybody and welcome to a new weekly vlog. It is Tuesday the 18th of April 2023 and like I say it's Tuesday and uh, I didn't vlog anything on Monday because I was too busy filming for the last weekly vlog and editing it and getting it all out. So thank you very very much if you watched that vlog. Um, but we're starting today, well I say starting the day, I tell a big fib, it is the afternoon and it's quite a nice day, it's windy, which is why I've washed and pegged out a load of washing, um, but it is quite a good day also to mow the grass, the back lawn, <laughs> finally I can get my chance to do it. So I am going to do that in a moment, so I'll probably just film a time lapse of me mowing the grass, I think I'm going to have to mow it on the higher setting because I don't think it's going to get through that very very well but there is something I wanted to show you in fact, actually I'll zoom back out again um but we have some new pots I saw these I've got two of them there's one over there and there's one here they are huge I mean just in comparison to my leg <laughs> they are huge and if I stand back you might be able to get um, a better look um they are not terracotta, they are plastic, and they were £22 each from Morrison's. Yes, it is that season where all the supermarkets and you know, home bargainy type places have garden things, plants, pots, whatever it might be, garden accoutrements. And I saw these pots and I thought, they actually look really good. And where else can you get a pot that big? It's quite rare to find one that big, but also for £22. So for £44, that was some quick maths, uh, I've got two pots. Now, I don't know where I'm going to put them. I may swap them with these and have them either side of the bench. I may have them elsewhere in the garden. But I do need something that's quite big and statuesque in them. So, um, yeah, I need to get my thinking cap on because I can't buy the compost until I know what I'm going to put in them. If it needs ericaceous compost or whether it needs regular compost or rose uh, tree and shrub type compost but they are really really good pots um they're very sturdy obviously plastic they need some ho some holes drilled in them for drainage but i think they are very very nice and will look good somewhere in the garden the washing is blowing around i love it um so now i need to set up and just get that grass cut Okay, so I've released the cats, <laughs> having mowed the lawn. Um, so I did do a second pass over in the time-lapse version that you've just seen. I literally just took the top off. I had it on the highest setting. Then I reduced it to the medium setting, which is the one that I like, the one that I prefer. And I've just gone over it again. So it's had two passes over um, and it's gone right down. So hopefully I will get a chance maybe maybe towards the weekend where I'll be able to go and, oh, it's very windy. The washing line is zooming around. As I was saying, I, I'm hoping by the weekend, I will get a chance to do it again. Just, all I need is just a dry couple of hours. I need to seize my chance and just do it. Um, but it is looking a lot better. I fed the birds as well out of the, out the front. Uh, oh, Molly's just come out. Hello, Molly. I will try and zoom in so you can see Molly. Again, she spent a lot of the day, over the past couple of days, on the spare bed, on Matt's Udi, on Matt's garlic bread yellow Udi. You've probably seen him wearing it a few times. Uh, Bo's on the bench. He just loves being outside. He does. I mean, munchkins are supposed to be a breed for indoors, um, but he just loves being outside. And we couldn't really let him out, um, let the others out and not Bo. And look who's in the washing basket. He's made a little bed, haven't you, sweetie? You look gorgeous. Aren't you lovely? Yes, you are. The tortillas are ready to be filled. So we put the wrap into a cup. That's the velvetizer cup. Tis. We haven't had one for ages, have we? No. The velvetizer. The chocolate is nice in the velvetizer, but we just haven't used it too much. And then we just fill the pockets. And I think we're going to have the salad on the side. Um, 
Yeah, it looks, it smells lovely. Mm. It didn't take too long to cook either, did it? No. So, and there's not even that much mess. For once. Woo! Go me. <laughs> There we go. So there, how many, there's, there's lots of pockets, to be fair. There's four pockets each. I think, actually, that pack probably feeds four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, I think it does. I think it feeds about four. But anyway, who's counting? Ooh, no mushroom down. Yeah. Hmm. Hi, everybody. It Hola. is Saturday. What date are we? The 20... Is it 21st? 21st or 22nd? I'm not quite 22nd. sure. 22nd. And we've been to Morrison's. And what we tried to do is have... Try and provide enough meals for the week in one shop. And I yeah. think we've managed it. So all of this shopping, we had to buy an extra bag, came to how much? £56. Pounds. Yes. And £5 pounds of which were the toilet rolls, which we've been having these recently, the Cushel Quilted Tubeless... Yeah. So there's there's six rolls, but it's the same as and what nine. should be in nine. And there's so, no rubbish. No, there's no cardboard waste. So no. that's really good. Shall we start with the the light stuff? Yes. Okay. Uh, we've got some bread rolls. Bread rolls for our lunches. We've gone with tiger rolls this time. You've got your yeah, because I've been fancying like a flavored coffee in the afternoon, and they don't do a flavored coffee instant in Morrison, so I just got these. Uh, some hog roast sausage rolls for lunch today because we're really hungry. Round lettuce. I'm not going to get them all out yet, but you've got 10. Oh, yeah. Eggs. I've got 10 Cadbury's cream, cream eggs, but they were on reduced 30 pence each. So I had like 10 for three pounds. Mushrooms, Mushrooms that we're going to use in lots of different things. Uh, yeah, Matt normally makes them, but can't he can't be bothered. It makes a bit of a mess. And anyway, we can just put them in the freezer and, and that's fine. So there's 10 Aunt Bessie's Yorkshire, Yorkshire puddings. I've got one of these. Matt's been wanting to try these for a long time. They are high protein, well, it's, it's one high protein chocolate mousse. Yes, yeah, so there's only 150 calories in the whole thing. Yeah, so, so it's not too bad. No. Looks yeah. worse than it is. Tomato. A beef tomato that we're going to have with pizza tonight. So we did buy... Oh, there's someone trying to get up. Hello. <laughs> you come to inspect as well. Yes, I know you have. Um, he's, been, he's been asleep. Um, some fibre bakes. Uh, my, nice my, brownies. Matt's brownies. And then all that's left in there is cream eggs. Yeah. So we're going to have pizza tonight. That's the plan. Yes. That we bought yesterday. Yes. And what else are we going to have? To, for to, oh, tomorrow is the Sunday roast. Yeah. Then we've got a steak pie with a dumpling top. Yeah, that's very nice. If you've not had the dumpling top, they are gorgeous. So you move. Oh, this is a routine. He, he has to look and inspect everything. Yeah. Uh, old El Paso enchilada kit. That was £2.50. That was reduced. Yeah. So it, apparently it serves four. <laughs> Matt d d disputes that vehemently. I've got my breakfast biscuits. Breakfast biscuits. Mm -hmm. I've had those in a while actually. It's been the soft bakes that I've been on for ages. We've got a reduced coleslaw. Oh, yeah, yeah. As well. So, for the pizza and probably a few other things, £1.4. Should have been £1.40. That's not bad. We've got three of these. Yeah, these were reduced. So, and they're freezable. Uh, potato, carrot, and sweet mash was £1.39. Now, 42 pence. So, we bought a few to freeze. There we go. Uh, we've got jumbo fish. Yeah. Battered fish, because we like those. That's one meal. Peppers. Peppers to go in lots of things. Uh, chicken for tomorrow. Yeah, so chicken breast joint. Chicken for the future. Chicken, yeah. That's just a random meal that we just yeah. sort of saw. Chopped tomatoes. Yeah, they're reduced. Um, tomatoes and things are really good. Hoops and a beans. Beans and hoops. That I think we're going to have with a baked potato, aren't we? Yeah. I got a sweet potato for my yeah. sweet potato because I actually prefer a baked sweet potato to a normal potato. And I prefer a normal potato. Oh, we're going to make roast potatoes with these tomorrow. Yeah. So roast potatoes. Oh, hello, you. You're all you're all over the place today, aren't you? Yeah. Onion. Onions. Uh, the other carrot and sweet mashes. Oh yeah, all of those. <laughs> it's turning yeah. into quite the hall, Look. Uh, oh, yeah, stuff. big bag of potatoes. We'll use those over probably the next couple of weeks. More chicken. Chicken that should do two meals. Should do. Should do two meals. I need, I need to be in the kitchen when Matt's putting that in chicken. there. I know, but... Good for me. Last time, what was it? Was the Thai green curry or something? Yeah. All of this ended up in. So I think I need to be here to... I think you need to do Portion. That. Or we should separate it into freezer bags. I'm not doing that now. Well, not now, but we can do <laughs> Carrots. Carrots, the wonky kind, and because they're cheaper. Wonky parsnips. And wonky parsnips. There we go. That's everything. Yeah. 
Um, I will take you outside. Never mind this, I'll explain this later. Um, I'm going to open the door because Molly wants to go out. Hello, lady. Oh, we've got a new mat as well. I bought a new non-slip mat for by the door. It's actually really, really good. Bo likes to sit on it. But we wanted a mat that was going to, you know, fit really nicely in that space. We can put our shoes on and food for going outside. So that's really good. It's a nice day. It's been a nice day. It's very hot. I'm actually in my shorts. Shall I show you my outfit today? So I've just come back from Morrison's and I've been wearing shorts. Now, I don't normally wear shorts, uh, but I am in my shorts and I've got my gilet on and a short sleeve top. I'm normally in long sleeve tops. Uh, but today we are... <laughs> We are dressed in shorts. I bought some bit. Did, did, did I show you these? I don't know if I showed you the big pots I bought. They're Morrison's. But yes, the grass is looking really, really green and gorgeous. It's a bit windy. Tulip's doing well, but I need to do some deadheading. Um, so yeah, let's just go inside. Hey, Bo. Right, so we've just made a salad to go with our pizza. So there's our salad. Uh, we've got some round lettuce, some onions, some salad dressing that I've made with balsamic vinegar and uh, olive oil. I've got some black pepper. Matt doesn't like black pepper. We've got the coleslaw to go to go with. That's our reduced coleslaw. The pizza. Oh no, it's it's, it's not a round shape. It's sort of elliptical. Yeah. Don't you think? And by the way, we spent four pound thirty one today on gas and electric. Um, but yes, it's very very nice and we've added some extra tomato some beef tomato on top and then we've got the air fryer going um for the chips and then we're gonna do this pizza in the oven because it won't fit in the air fryer to be honest um so there we go that's um shaping up to be our dinner i'll show you all when it's done and there we have the finished article we've got a big dollop of coleslaw some mayo the pizza looks lovely the salad looks nice the chips are nice and crispy yummy hi all it is sunday and it has been raining. You can see the big massive puddles on the floor. Uh, but it's nice and sunny now. We've got Molly over there on the bench. I think you can just about see her. Bo is out somewhere. I'm not sure exactly where Bo is. Um, but it's nice in the garden. And I'm not quite sure what to do because I'm trying to upload a video for my Royal Reviewer channel and the checks on it are taking forever, which is really, really annoying. Um, also, I am wearing some new garden shoes. These are not Crocs. These are oh, I don't know if, if, if that recording caught anything, but we just had the government emergency alarm. <laughs> it's about 3.15pm on a Sunday, is it, are we the 23rd? I can't remember what date we are, but we were aware there was going to be a government test alarm. And um, it just went off and literally just scared the life out of me. <laughs> it's not a very nice noise. It's like their emergency. I don't know what you're supposed to do, go and run for cover. I don't know. But anyway, I was explaining about my shoes. So these are not Crocs. These are town and country. And they don't have the Croc telltale holes. And they're very comfy. They're very bouncy. Um, so I've got these for the garden. Uh, my mum and dad bought me them. Um, Mommy and daddy. And I had a size 6. I I'm not normally a size 6. I'm a size 7. But I've had to go a size down. So size 6 is right for me. Uh, hello, lady. You've taken to meowing a lot, haven't you? She walks around the house screaming, and we don't know why you're screaming. Um, she's fine. She's absolutely fine. I think it's just old age, to be honest. I think when I get old, I'm just going to walk around screaming as well. I think it sounds like a good idea, to be honest. Uh, hello. Oh, look. Oh, my sweetie. Oh, aren't you the cutest? Aren't you the cutest? <laughs> Did you see that little trot? Oh, it's gorgeous. Rory's in the dome, so we've seen Molly. Um, she's enjoying the fair weather. I did show you this mat, didn't I? Yes. Um, we've given all of these a really good vacuum today. You can see the marks. Um, but Rory is having a nice little relaxivu. Aren't you, sweetie? Yes, you are. We've cleaned the kitchen. I've been working over there, like I say. I'm waiting for the checks to be done. Ugh, I cleaned the water fountain yesterday. Changed all the cat litter trays. They've been done. So, we're not too bad. I still really need to find something to go in these pots. I don't know what. Matt doesn't like... You know, those, like, standard things with, like, balls on. He doesn't like those. Oh, hello, lady. Having a little lick. He doesn't like those, so we need to find something else. I want something evergreen that's big. So I'm thinking some kind of, I 
don't know, maybe a spiral, maybe a spiral box or something. Uh, there are also these little like olive tree things, but then we, we've had some at the old house and the frost often gets them. So I don't really think they're a good idea. So we need to think of something. We've also, oh, Molly's so cute. Aren't you cute, sweetie? Yes, you are, you're so cute having a little drink. Um, we'll leave Molly to have a drink in peace. We think we have worked out how big to have the base. So starting where, where the base is now, it's gonna come all the way down to about here in line with this post. It's gonna go all the way across to in line with the edge of the obelisk. So it's quite a big, a big piece um, of patio, but the greenhouse will go in the middle and there'll be enough space for me to get down the side to maintain it. Um, the other, th so I think for this year, the plan is get the greenhouse in. The greenhouse should be in roughly mid-May. I reckon mid-May the greenhouse will be fully erected. So if I want to do tomatoes or anything like that, I need to maybe even start them off in my mom's greenhouse or at least by the by the plants. I'm not going to be able to propagate them myself, I don't think, um, this year. But I still might not miss the whole season. So fingers crossed, I won't miss the whole season. Then I think some perhaps a little bit later in the year, I may get a pergola done over that patio and possibly extend the pergola down the walkway. So for this year, what I'm hoping is greenhouse, extra work on the borders, pergola. And I think that will be enough for this year. Then next year, I think the plan is to look at the shape of the lawn. And I think what I would like is a big circle, a big circular lawn. And everything else that's not the circle becomes garden. And then I can have pretty much like flowers and vegetables all mixed in together in a big circle. That's my idea that I want to go down um, at the moment. That could change, I don't know. Once the greenhouse is in, I think we'll have a better idea. But for now, my idea is next year, reshape the lawn or do something with it. Uh, maybe even make the borders bigger. I don't know. I mean, it is quite drastic to just completely have like, you know, what would be a fairly, you know, smallish circle in the middle and then literally take up the rest of the turf. I'm going to have to really have something in mind of what we want to do with it. So, for example, I could grow potatoes mixed in with flowers and all sorts of things. So it kind of, yeah, and then you can garden from inside or outside of the circle. I don't know. I've just, it's an idea in my head. I, th I think it'll work, but... It's, it is quite drastic to just take up a load of turf. So I think I need more time to think about it. Now the seed, the grass seed, um, is really, really working. So as you can see, the patches are now, you can't really tell where they were. Like There was a patch here, that's now pretty much blended over. So the lawn's looking really good. Um, I needn't have bothered over here because that's going to be taken up anyway. So it's not looking too bad. The tulips are still looking really good. Pretty much all the daffodils are gone. Like I said, I need to de-head some of those old daffodils. But we're looking good. So I'm really, really happy. Um, and that's the garden today. There we go. We are, well, Matt's about to start cooking Sunday dinner. Yeah, I'm just logging everything into my fitness pal. Yeah, Matt's lost weight again this I week. Have. Yay! Yeah, the scales are lying. Finally, starting to come down again. <laughs> Chef Bo is helping with the food preparation, yeah. although he shouldn't, uh, but he is. But he is. <laughs> so this is the chicken totally that we bought. Yeah, yeah, it's frozen. So how long does it go in the oven for? An hour and a half. An hour and a half, and that should be perfect. Yeah. Um, we've not had these before. I showed you them in our little food hall. No, we're going to be um, lazy and just roast them. Yeah, I think we're doing it in the oven or the air fryer? Maybe the air fryer, because anything they've got to do is the seeds. Mm. I might just chuck them in the air fryer. Although, well. seeing as we've got the oven on, would it be nice just to put some fat I've got the top on, on them. Oh, okay. Because okay. it, it's a lower temperature for the chickens. They don't require okay. the roast. That's fine. Well, we'll see how they do in the air fryer. And then we've got some veg. And we're also having yeah. the broccoli and stuff as well. So, I will take you along as we cook. Well, Matt cooks. <laughs> <laughs> Say we cook. <laughs> Excuse me? So, a lot of my mess over here. A lot of this is going back to... Um, my parents, well, my old house, our old house. Um, 
so like the lampshade and the lamp is for the old house. I will, if I've not explained all that, I think I did explain to people in the patrons chat what's happening. Um, but I am going to be using basically pretty much all of my old house or the majority of our old house as my new filming studio and office for the Royal Reviewer channel. So I need to, I'm creating a set. So this is a sneak preview. Um, it's, a, it's a lampshade, it's black and it's got tassels and it's velvety and it's going to be put on this lamp base which I've had from Laura Ashley for many years but it's it's not had a lampshade on it for ages. Uh, so that's basically where we're at at the moment. Uh, we've just had a revelation. Still got to parboil these. Yeah, for 10 minutes. So they'll be parboiled for 10 minutes and then in the air fryer. Right, so we want your opinions on portion size. So Matt said, is that enough carrots for the two of us? And I'm like, yes, probably half of it is enough for two. So I always, for you. Go, I always go portion sizes should be no bigger than your fist, a normal person's fist. We're not talking like giant size fists. So I was right, about half. Well, let me know if, if you think I'm right. I reckon half is like two portions. But also comment below if you think this is a roast dinner and therefore it should be unsightly large because it's a roast dinner and it's not <laughs> British if you're not waddling afterwards. I don't like to waddle afterwards. I like, to be, I like to be reasonable. Uh, <laughs> so I think we're okay there with the parsnips. I think that's about the right portion size. But we've definitely got enough for about four people with I the carrots. I think I can fit them all on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I reckon there's enough for four for the, for the carrots. It just feels wrong. <laughs> feels incorrect. <laughs> so here are the dinners without the gravy on. Um, all the roast potatoes. Oh, yeah, all the roast potatoes. How could we forget those? So it's looking really yummy. Look at those. Mm. Ooh, oh, they turned out really well. They did. Actually. <gasps> Look at those. Wow. They are proper golden brown. Well, they worked. <laughs> How many do you want? <laughs> um, well, and yeah, there's lots of roast potatoes on there. <laughs> Run away, potato. Get it quick. Fine, um, so, yes, that is a big dinner, isn't it? But a roast dinner should be a big dinner. Comment below. <laughs> should, be, yeah. should it be a big dinner? Yes. I think it should be, actually. It's Sunday. We deserve yeah. it. Woohoo! And the gravy is going on. It is a thick gravy today. It is, but I like a thick gravy. <laughs> what happened to your roux? I don't know. I used to say a mouse everything. It's got really thick. <laughs> it has gone really thick. But that's okay. We don't mind thick gravy. So there we go. That's this the is dinner. This a thick gravy household. Yummy, yummy. Hi everybody, I am back at the old house and I thought I'd quickly, I'm trying to set up my office, I thought I'd quickly show you um, what's happened to the house. So straight away, you can see that there is a new door here. Uh, that wasn't there before. Uh, also, this was my utility and it's been turned into a kitchen. Just look at this, I've got the camera zo zoomed out so you can see. Um, so it's now a kitchen. That space there was completely vacant. My parents have matched up the existing cupboards and worktops to kind of make a U-shaped kitchen. So my washing machine used to be in the corner over there. That cupboard in the sink was still there. Uh, that was where my tumble dryer was. It's now a dishwasher. Uh, I think it's Bosch. And there is a Beko fridge freezer where my freezer used to be. So this section here is new, the section in the corner is new, there's um, obviously all cupboards. These cupboards were my wall cupboards, I had those, and there is a new set of drawers. Uh, that's where there was a, a pull-out cupboard. Um, so there we go, that's the kitchen and it's got, it's got a skylight on it and it's got a new hob there. Uh, this was my oven from the old kitchen. It's a, it's, a, it's a nef and it just kind of slides under like that. Um, so there we go. That's the kitchen. So the door is really, really nice. I really, really like the door. So going into what was my old living room has now been redecorated. So if I stand back, you, you kind of get the, get the look of it. So it's now got a corner sofa with a plant. The ledge has now got a new piece of wood on and it's been painted orange to match the lamps, which is quite a bold choice. So I'm quite um, <laughs> quite impressed by, by my parents' bold choice. Uh, so that looks rather good. Uh, there's new furniture 
the telly is in the same position that I had it in. Um, so yeah, I think it looks rather good. What do, you, what, what do you think? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Um, there is going to be a wing chair here. My mom's ordered an, a bright orange wing chair for over there. Um, so yes, going into the corridor, that's now into my parents' house. Uh, my bookcases are still there full of all my books. There's a new door here. That wasn't there before. So going into the really old part of the house, um, this used to be my kitchen. It is now my parents' office. So it's got a new radiator, one of those nice, nice new radiators. This is where the cooker was, right here, where my dad's office is. That's where the cooker was. And of course, all the, all the cabinets used to be across there. The bathroom is still exactly the same. It's just been uh, redecorated, but the bathroom is is exactly the same. It's still quite, a, it's, a, it's a big bathroom actually. Um, so that's still the same. Okay, so these are the rooms that I'm taking on. Um, this is my, this is my old dining room. That's now going to be my filming room. So I've, I've brought some things to set up. So I'm gonna set up. Um, and that's basically gonna be my set over there. So I need to create a really, really nice display over there and then the room above is my old bedroom that's going to be my walk-in wardrobe dressing room and then my old office is, is my old office so there you go that's what's happened to the old house okay so there we have it i think we're going to conclude today's this week's vlog it's been again another sort of eclectic vlog you've just come along with us on a pretty uneventful week to be quite honest matt's playing yeah. computer games he's finished work for the day Catching uh, my zelda before the new one comes out in yeah there's a new zelda game coming out if I'm you're into excited. if you're into computer games um so we're going to sign off Bo is literally just here he's had a bit of a manic day today something has upset him outside we don't know what it is but he's been i don't know he's just he's been trying to jump the fence and he's not settled so we've got him in and he's finally gone to sleep anyway thank you for watching this week's vlog if you have enjoyed it please give it a big old thumbs up don't forget to share on social media and do hit the bell so that you know whenever we decide to upload whatever this is so <laughs> to you all and goodbye